So, the spoilers are out for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 379, and oh my gosh, is this going to be an amazing chapter if we are to believe the spoilers, because some very massive stuff is going to be revealed in this chapter, and you'll get to see what it is. But first, right after this. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Monk Mantru, and I'm here to cover the spoilers for Ma Hero Academia Manga Chapter 379 titled Hopes. And I'm going to do this video a little bit differently. I am still going to be covering the spoilers, covering the tech spoilers, as well as showing some images in this chapter, in this video. I'm going to do it a slightly bit differently. At this moment, the entirety of the spoilers have yet to come out. So what I'm going to be doing is more or less recording my reactions to the spoilers as I am actually reading them off and experiencing them. And I've already experienced some of the spoilers right now. So it's going to be a spoiler slash reaction type of thing. So I'd like to see if this is something that you want me to do more of in the future when it comes to covering the spoilers when they are coming out. So, without the way, let's dive right into the spoilers and see what's going on with Tomo Shigaraki in the spoilers. And to start off, the spoilers start off with the chapter beginning with a flashback of the central hospital just after Kurugiri woke up. Everyone is screaming and we see Dr. Mario saying that Nagant can't go moving around, but she tells him to shut up and tell her the enemy's location. The doctor says that he can't tell her since she's in custody, but Nagant says that Midoriya asked her to fight alongside them. Rocklock then shows up and says that he will allow her to join the war. He hands her a device that contains all information about the villains. So, the first part of this spoilers is just really explaining how Nagin got into the war. And this is something that I kind of thought she was at Central Hospital because of everything that happened in Central Hospital. She is here now. She's able to fight. And very much she is weak and bandaged up. That she only really jumped into the war at the moment that Kurogiri escaped. So that makes sense for what we have in the story. And I would love to talk more about Lady Nagant, but we're going to need to get more into the bulk of this chapter spoilers because the next part of the tech spoilers is really interesting and fascinating pertaining to Tomura Shigaraki. Because with the next part of the tech spoilers, we cut to the present and we see Nagant saying that she wants to get at least one shot off to pay back Hawks and Deku for bringing her out of the darkness and reminding her of the meaning of her existence. She then shoots and hits Shigaraki's other hand. Deku understands what's happening and smiles, cut to the inner all for one screaming with hatred saying that it makes no sense for a trash like her who killed innocent people and even allies to play the victim, suddenly fingers start coming out of his mouth. The fingers represent Shigaraki. He laughs at All For One and says that his plan to use others didn't work out. He also says that he knows that All For One only raised him to piss off All Might and then to use his hatred to steal one for all. But the plan also turned out to be a failure. The fusion seemed to have worked, but Shigaraki kept his origin, in quotes, hidden deep within his heart. This allowed him to get his personality back little by little without all for one noticing, creating a way out of his control. So this is probably the most interesting part of the spoilers that we've seen so far. And the implication is that Tomo Shigaraki had a plan to deal with all for one inside of him. And that this gives Tomo Shigaraki in my opinion, a lot more credit than I was giving him when it comes to his intelligence. The fact that he was able to do this and that it succeeds and how he was able to outwit all for one is very much amazing. And I would really like to see where this goes in the future and even in this chapter to come with the next part of the tech spoilers. And with the next part of the tech spoilers, we have All For One despairs and tries to order Kurogiri to teleport him to where his true body is, but Kurogiri begins to glitch. He says that he needs to protect Shigaraki, but we slowly start to see more of Shiro Kuma's face as he says, who, where, friend. Shigaraki continues his speech saying that he doesn't need All For One. His heart will never surrender, just like Nagans or Gentles. The world as it is right now originated the house in which he was born, and that's why Tomo Shigaraki and Tinko Shimura's wish is the same. So, I just read this. This is amazing. Mainly because it confirms an idea most likely that I was thinking of, that Tomo Shigaraki and Tinko Shimura 
are the same person or they have the same wish, which is obvious to me, but not obvious to a lot of people. But it's also very interesting to see Tomura really more or less distance himself from All for One and really showing how All for One just really underestimated his own people to this extent. As well as the fact that we're getting more hints to Shiro Kumo awakening out of Kurogiri, which is something that we could have predicted, but most likely something that we are going to see. So I can't wait to see where we're going to be getting more into the spoilers with the next part of the tech spoilers that will eventually come up. And now with the next part of the tech spoilers, we have apparently Tomo Shigaraki saying all of this. He starts to emerge from within the sea of hands and fingers. He ends his speech with, our wish is to destroy everything that has to do with that house. As he smiles and his hair grows back to its normal length, Shigaraki is back. He then says, and that's the only thing that will save me, hero. But in a matter of seconds, Deku has already pulled him out of the flying UA. Jinto and Muriel are confused, but he says that now that Shigaraki has all of his quirks, the flying coffin became useless. And with the final part of the tech spoilers, Deku says that I won't let you do that, but I'm not going to ignore the you who were crying. He tied Shigaraki's hands using Black Whip, and now the two of them are on solid ground, about to start the fight, end of chapter. So, what did we learn from the spoilers? Uh, we learned a lot. We learned that this chapter is going to be heavily focusing a little bit on what's going on with inside of Tomer Shigaraki, getting to know how he really got to this point, the fact that he planned all of this more or less, but we also get to see that what's going to happen is that both Deku and Tomer Shigaraki are going to fight, and that Deku is still willing enough to try and save him after everything that Tomura has said and done. As well as we know, we get a little bit more of Lady Nagant, which is always a plus. But yeah, that's pretty much all we have for the tech spoilers for this week, as well as the spoilers for this chapter of My Hero Academia. And judging by what I'm seeing right now, this is a very, very hefty chapter. Like, heftier than probably a lot of the chapters that we've had so far from what we see with most likely the images that I've shown up. I believe we're going to have one, two, three, 16 pages, including a full cover page of La Brava and Gentle Criminal. So overall, this is going to be an amazing chapter when it gets translated. And I think this is going to give everyone a better perspective of what Horikoshi's plan is or what his plan was for the characters of Tomura Shigaraki going into this final battle. And hopefully people have a better understanding for why this may not necessarily have been a bad thing. But yeah, that's all I really have to say on the topic for right now. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the spoilers. What did you think of the spoilers? What was your favorite part of the spoilers? And do you like the new format that I'm sort of kind of doing right now? Leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Do all that cool jazz. And hopefully I'll be able to catch you in my next video. Goodbye.